this wall behind me has thousands and thousands of tiny, tiny holes. And if you clicked on today's video, I'm guessing you are probably seeing holes very similar to this in some important wood inside your house, whether that be the siding or inside on the hardwood floor or a piece of furniture. And you may be concerned because what could cause these little tiny holes is probably a bug. You're right. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what's going on. These tiny, tiny holes are caused by a species of beetle family called powder post beetles. And just in particular, look at this piece of wood. It has extensive, extensive powder post beetle activity. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm here treating this uh, detached garage today for powder post beetles. I'm going to show you uh, how to properly identify an active versus inactive powder post beetle infestation and how to treat it. I'm gonna be treating it with four care. It is very important to do one thing first. Identify whether your powder post beetle infestation is active or inactive. I'm going to tell you it's most likely going to be inactive. So how do you determine whether your powder post beetle infestation is active or not? Well, first of all, just make sure the holes are powder post beetles. They are tiny, tiny, maybe one sixteenth of an inch across. Each one of these tiny holes is evidence of powder post beetle. There are, let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, just kidding, I'm not going to count them. There are too many to count. Here's what you need to know. The powder post beetle larva, they're really, really tiny, warm looking things. They're slowly burrowing through the wood. As they burrow through the wood, they expel something, just a general term, it's called frass. It's just the remnants of wood boring insects. The frass of powder post beetles, as you may expect, is very powdery. <laughs> Uh, and they're called post beetles because, well, you know, like a post of wood or a piece of wood, and they are beetles. So that's why they're called powder post beetles. 90% of the exit holes on this piece of wood are inactive. Let me show you some inactive powder post beetle activity. All of these in this area are inactive. That means there is not currently larva inside here. On the other hand, let me show you some active infestations. Check out this hole. Notice this line coming out from below it straight down vertically. That is the powder that is being expelled by the powder post beetle. Okay, hold up, hold up, pause. Did you guys see that? As I was editing, I just realized that there was a full grown adult powder post beetle sitting inches away from this fresh exit hole. And we're gonna go down a couple panels. Notice, notice these lines coming down from these holes here. There's some frass coming down from this one too. If you're seeing like a trickling powder coming out of the holes, that means your powder post beetle infestation is active. Another thing to look for, of course, like look at the wood directly like this, like I am, but look straight down. This area is like multiple feet off the ground, but if the piece of wood you're questioning is just a couple feet off the ground, you should be able to see powder. And in this case, we are seeing a little bit of powder down here on this uh, sill plate for the garage. Those signs are telling me that this powder post beetle infestation is active. So since it's active, we need to treat it. So we're going to do that now. Treating a powder post beetle infestation is super, super easy thanks to a product called Boracare. Boracare is made by Nysis. Nysis is sponsoring this video. So thank you to Nysis and thank you to Boracare for making such an amazing product to tackle these powder post beetles. Boracare is mixed with water right here. Uh, I'll put the link in the description to buy it. I mixed it in my Jatco sprayer there. I didn't show you the mixing. It's it's pretty simple. You just mix it with water and you have to agitate the boric hair. The boric hair is very thick, so it's important to mix it with water appropriately. Use either like a, a screwdriver uh, with a you know, agitator mixer device at the end, or uh, just shake the heck out of it and that will agitate it as well. Boric hair is a wood surface treatment. So it sounds exactly what you think it sounds like. I'm gonna be treating the surface of the wood. Boric hair is extremely, extremely effective. I'm going to just spray all of the wood, all the exposed wood up and down. A couple points here. Normally there's gonna be a little red flag if the wood is painted like this, but I've noticed a couple things I mean, just look at this area, for example. There's so much powder post beetle activity. I can see the grains in the wood. This paint 
it's not very thick and there are so many open holes the bore here is going to be fine penetrating into those active active powder post beetle burrows if you're treating wood that has a heavy layer of paint on it you need to get that layer of paint off before you do the bore care treatment just so the product is able to penetrate into the wood i hope this helped answer your questions about powder post beetles if you're seeing those little little tiny holes in your wood those are from powder post beetles signs of powder post beetles are really common but active powder post beetle infestations are not common so just look for those signs of active powder post beetles and if you're seeing that powder falling from the wood structure you have questioned, then that means your powder post beetle infestation is active and you should get it treated with a product called Bore Care. Here's a quick tip I just thought of for when you're doing the treatment. Make sure your sprayer is on the lightest, most misting feature possible. You don't want the spray to come out pinstream. You want to cover as much surface area as possible with a very, very light mist. All it takes is just a coat. Like you don't have to have it dripping soaking off the wood you don't you don't have to soak the wood it just needs a very light layer in order for the bore care to work all right i've got another fact that i wanted to point out and show you guys about powder post beetles and this is the perfect example so these painted white planks of wood going horizontal and even these ones right here going vertical the powder post beetles are absolutely tearing these guys up but that is most likely because this wood behind me was not properly treated when it was harvested Check out this new wood right here. Uh, this wood has been here for years and years and it has no signs of powder post beetles on it. Whereas this wood is absolutely covered with powder post beetle holes everywhere. The new wood in this house that was properly treated when it was harvested, the uh, garage door here, and then like the ceiling joists, there are no signs of powder post beetles up there. I'm guessing the roof was redone at some point. Like I said, active powder post beetle infestations are rare. It's usually be because the wood is just weird. It, it came from a weird place. It wasn't treated properly when it was harvested. It's really old, it's really new. Something weird's going on with the wood. 